Hello and welcome to our channel. We are the Good Cholesterol, the only channel that's good for your heart. Today we're going to be talking about Planet Zoo, specifically the new Conservation Expansion Pack. So let's get started. The new expansion focuses on conservation of endangered species. This expansion pack is accompanied by a free major update which includes a number of new features. The first of which is a new conservation rating. You can also now get improving your conservation rating as a challenge in your park. The conservation rating will be based on how many people have been interacting with your conservation boards as well as your children's educational conservation stations. Children's education stations are one of the new additions for this particular update. These are basically new little uh, interactive stations that you can place around the park to allow children to learn more about animals and this will help improve your conservation score. The interactive stations also contribute to the happiness score of your guests. Another feature of the new free update is new behaviors that you will notice around your park. For your animals, you'll notice a new sniffing behavior which can appear in most of the animals, excluding a few select species. There's also a new chorus that can occur in both the wolves and the new siamangs. Your guests can now engage in a new behavior of group photos. However, I've played the game for a while with the new update and I have yet to notice any of my guests taking group photos. Of course, this could just be because maybe my guests aren't very happy, as a good happiness score is required for the guests to take a group photo. Now, the conservation expansion pack adds four new habitat species and one new exhibit species. All of these new animals are critically endangered, and many are extinct in the wild. The first new species is the Amur leopard. This is a critically endangered species of leopard living in the temperate forests between Russia and the far east of China. They live in taiga and temperate biomes and live either solitary or in pairs of one male and one female. They require grade 3 barriers and are climbers so they need climb-proof walls, as well as enough climbable enrichment to keep them entertained. Next is the Preswalski's horse. This is an endangered wild horse which lives on the steppes of Mongolia. It's smaller and stockier than most other species of horse. The species can be considered extinct in the wild and only survives in captivity. They live in the grassland biome and require grade 2 walls. These horses can happily cohabitate with the camels. Then we have the Shimitar horned oryx. This is a species of antelope that used to live in the Sahara Desert in northern Africa. They are currently extinct in the wild. They are named for their long horns, which are curved backwards. They can live in the grassland or desert biome and require grade 2 walls. They can happily cohabitate with the American buffalo, common ostrich, plain zebra, and reticulated giraffe. The final new habitat species is the Siamang. This is an endangered species of gibbon, which lives in the rainforests of the Malay Peninsula and Indonesian islands. They have very long arms and a throat sac, which inflates during vocalization, making their vocalization very distinctive. They live in the tropical biome and require grade 3 climb-proof walls. They gain an interspecies bonus from living with the Bornean orangutan. <laughs> Finally, the new exhibit species is the axolotl, which has of course become very popular recently because of games such as Minecraft, which recently added this animal in as well. This is an amphibian found exclusively in freshwater lakes in Mexico. Wild axolotls are brown and green in color, but the pet-traded ones are often bred to be white or other colors. They are considered critically endangered. With this expansion, you will also find a new timed scenario. This is called Turtle Rock Wildlife Orphanage. It is a challenging timed scenario featuring a beautiful map, which feels very much ingrained in nature. This map will also be available in challenge and sandbox mode as well. As always, you will also find new decorative blueprints such as staff facilities and even a conservation restaurant. 
there are also plenty of new scenery pieces such as beautiful lamps, trash cans, benches, and new paths and nature items. All of the decorations in this new expansion pack heavily focus on a beautiful natural theme which goes along well with the conservation aesthetic. Overall, I love the new expansion pack. I love the new animals and the look of it. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to witness the group photo behavior from my guests. Overall, I think I'll give the conservation expansion pack a 4 out of 5 cholesterol score. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe below. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.